A message-driven bean example. Message-driven beans can implement any messaging type. Most commonly, they implement the Java Message Service JMS technology. The example in this chapter uses JMS technology, so you should be familiar with basic JMS concepts such as queues and messages. To learn about these concepts, see Chapter 45, Java Message Service Concepts. This chapter describes the source code of a simple message-driven bean example. Before proceeding, you should read the basic conceptual information in the section What is a Message-Driven Bean? As well as using Message-Driven Bean to receive messages asynchronously. The following topics are addressed here. Simple Message Example Application Overview The Simple Message Application Client The Message-Driven Bean Class Packaging Deploying and Running The Simple Message Example Simple Message Example Application Overview the Simple Message application has the following components. Simple Message Client, an application client that sends several messages to a queue. Simple Message Bean, a message-driven bean that asynchronously receives and processes the messages that are sent to the queue. Figure 25-1 illustrates the structure of this application. The application client sends messages to the queue, which was created administratively using the administration console. The JMS provider in this case, the Glassfish server delivers the messages to the instances of the message-driven bean, which then processes the messages. Figure 25-1 The Simple Message Application The source code for this application is in the TUT install. Examples EJB Simple Message Directory The Simple Message Application Client the simple message client sends messages to the queue that the simple message bean listens to. The client starts by injecting the connection factory and queue resources. Resource map name equal JMS. Connection factory private static connection factory connection factory. Resource map name equal JMS. Queue private static queue queue. Next, the client creates the connection, session, and message producer. Connection equal connection factory. Create connection. Session equal connection. Create session false. Session. Auto acknowledge. Message producer equal session. Create producer queue. Finally, the client sends several messages to the queue. Message equal session. Create text message. For int i equal zero. I. Num msgs. I message. Set text this is message plus i plus one. System. Out. Print on sending message. Plus message. Get text. Message producer. Send message. The message driven bean class. The code for the simple message bean class illustrates the requirements of a message driven bean class. It must be annotated with a message driven annotation. If it does not use a deployment descriptor, the class must be defined as public. The class cannot be defined as abstract or final. It must contain a public constructor with no arguments. It must not define the finalized method. It is recommended, but not required, that a message-driven bean class implement the message listener interface for the message type it supports. A bean that supports the JMS API implements the JAVAX. JMS. Message listener interface. Unlike session beans and entities, message-driven beans do not have the remote or local interfaces that define client access. Client components do not locate message-driven beans and invoke methods on them. Although message-driven beans do not have business methods, they may contain helper methods that are invoked internally by the onMessage method. For the Glassfish server, the Message-driven annotation typically contains a map name element that specifies the JNDI name of the destination from which the bean will consume messages. For complex message-driven beans, there can also be an active voting config element containing activation config property annotations used by the bean. A message-driven bean can also inject a message-driven context resource. Commonly you use this resource to call the set rollback only method to handle exceptions for a bean that uses container managed transactions. Therefore, the first few lines of the simple message bean class look like this. Message driven map name equal JMS. Q activation config equal. 
Activation config property property name equal acknowledge mode. Property value equal auto acknowledge. Activation config property property name equal destination type. Property value equal JVX. JMS. Q. Public class simple message being implements message listener. Resource private message driven context MDC. NetBeans IDE typically creates a message driven being with a default set of activation config property settings. You can delete those you do not need or add others. Table 25-1 lists commonly used properties. Table 25-1. Activation config property settings for message driven beans property name description acknowledge mode acknowledgement mode. See controlling message acknowledgement for information destination type either JAVX, JMS, Q or JAVX, JMS. Topic subscription durability for durable subscribers set to durable. See creating durable subscriptions for information client id for durable subscribers, the client Idaho for the connection subscription name for durable subscribers, the name of the subscription message selector a string that filters messages. See JMS message selectors for information, and see an application that uses the JMS API with a session beam for an example address list remote system or systems to communicate with. See an application example that consumes messages from a remote server for an example the onMessage method. When the queue receives a message, the EJB container invokes the message listener method or methods for a bean that uses JMS. This is the onMessage method of the message listener interface. A message listener method must follow these rules. The method must be declared as public. The method must not be declared as final or static. The onMessage method is called by the Bean's container when a message has arrived for the Bean to service. This method contains the business logic that handles the processing of the message. It is the message-driven Bean's responsibility to parse the message and perform the necessary business logic. The onMessage method has a single argument. The incoming message, the signature of the onMessage method must follow these rules. The return type must be void. The method must have a single argument of type JAVX. JMS. Message. In the simple message being class, the onMessage method casts the incoming message to a text message and displays the text. Public void onMessage message in message text message msg equal null. Try if in message instance here off text message msg equal text message in message. Logger. Info message being. Message received. Plus msg. Get text. Else logger. Warning message of wrong type. Plus in message. Get class. Get name. Catch ems exception ee. Print stack trace. MDC. Set rollback only. Catch trowable tt. Print stack trace. Packaging, deploying, and running the simple message example. To package, deploy, and run this example, go to the tut install. Examples EJB Simply Message Directory Creating the administered objects for the Simply Message example. This example requires the following A JMS connection factory resource, a JMS destination resource. If you have run the simple JMS examples in Chapter 45, Java Message Service Concepts and have not deleted the resources, you already have these resources and do not need to perform these steps. You can use ant targets to create the resources. The ant targets, which are defined in the build. XML file for this example, use the sysadmin command. To create the resources needed for this example, use the following commands. Ant create cf and create q. These commands do the following. Create a connection factory resource named JMS. Connection factory. Create a destination resource named JMS. Q. The ant targets for these commands refer to other targets that are defined in the TUT install. Examples. BP project. App server ant. XML file. To build, deploy, and run the simple message application using NetBeans IDE. From the file menu, choose Open Project. In the Open Project dialog, navigate to Tut Install. Examples. EJB. Select the Simply Message folder. 
Select the Open as Main Project checkbox and the Open Required Projects checkbox. Click Open Project. In the Projects tab, right-click the Simply Message Project and choose Build. This task packages the application client and the message-driven beam, then creates a file named Simply Message. Here in the disk directory, right-click the project and choose Run. This command deploys the project, returns a jar file named Simply Message Client jar and then executes it. The output of the application client in the output pane looks like this preceded by application client container output. Sending message. This is message 1 sending message. This is message 2 sending message. This is message 3 to see if the beam received the messages. Check. Install dir. Domains. Domain 1. Logs. Server. Log. The output from the message-driven beam appears in the server log domain dir. Logs. Server. Log. Wrapped in logging information. Message bean. Message received. This is message 1 message bean. Message received. This is message 2 message bean. Message received. This is message 3. The received messages may appear in a different order from the order in which they were sent. To build, deploy, and run the Simply Message application using it. In the terminal window, go to Tut Install. Examples EJB Simply Message. To compile the source files and package the application, use the following command int. This target packages the application client and the message driven beam, then creates a file named Simply Message. Here in the disk directory, by using resource injection and annotations, you avoid having to create deployment descriptor files for the message-driven bean and application client. You need to use deployment descriptors only if you want to override the values specified in the annotated source files. To deploy the application and run the client choosing it, use the following command, and run. Ignore the message that states that the application is deployed at a URL. The output in the terminal window looks like this preceded by application client container output. Sending message. This is message 1 sending message. This is message 2 sending message. This is message 3 to see if the beam received the messages. Check. Install dir. Domains. Domain 1. Logs. Server. Log. In the server log file, the following lines appear, wrapped in logging information. Message bean. Message received. This is message 1 message bean. Message received. This is message 2 message bean. Message received. This is message 3. The received messages may appear in a different order from the order in which they were sent, removing the administered objects for the simple message example. After you run the example, you can use the following end targets to delete the connection factory and queue. And delete CF and delete queue.